Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a plan with me in my Erin Condren Horizontal Life Planner for the week of Monday, May 30th through Sunday, June 5th. And the kit of the week is by Sugar Sweet Prints on Etsy. And it is ladybug themed. So red and black and some gray. And I just think this is the cutest. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to use it. Um, so um, the kit did not come with washi for the top, but it did come with the washi strips for in between the days. Using this washi tape, and I don't remember where I got it from, but it's almost like peppermint. It reminds me of candy cane or something. But that is what I'm going to do on top. Alright, so I laid down one strip, and I did pass the point here a lot. Um, the point ends like right here. So I did go past that, so I don't have as much white space in between. And then I went past this sidebar here, all the way as close to the coil as I could get. And now, when I do the second piece of washi, I'm going to, I'm not going to like do it like this so that they're not lined up. Um, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to try to line them up perfectly. And then since two exactly actually goes past the page, if you can see, I'm going to try to overlap them as much as possible too, like stack them on top of each other, because this white part is actually sheer. So you can see the green triangle print beneath it. And I'm hoping that two layers will make that less and less obvious, the places where it does overlap. Trim it on both ends. But this part here, um, I'm actually going to go past it again. And I'm purposely trying to cover um, the word Memorial Day there. Because that's green and I don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to go as far to the right as I can to still be able to read the, the May. But I don't want the Memorial Day thing to show. So that's what I'm doing. Trimming. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing where I overlap the prints and try to line up the stripes as closely as possible and then I'll trim on both sides. Alright, so now I'm going to use the washi strips that came in the kit over each day. So I'm going to have a mixture of prints. These strips are a little bit short in my opinion um, just because they don't cover the entire green line. Let me show you. Like, I still have some green line that shows on each side. So I don't like that, but on the other days it won't be as obvious. Okay, so this is the spread so far. Lots of red and white. And now the last thing on this sheet is this, and this is actually for the notes section. There we go. I will go in with the full boxes throughout. You know, I was going to put this ladybug down here, but I feel like it'll be like the only place the ladybugs occur is down here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. Instead, I'll do the flowers down here. I wanted to get some black towards the bottom. And there's one box left, this red striped one, and that'll go right there. Okay, so that is it for the washi strip sheet and the full box sheet. Next, she gives you these, which I think are an awesome idea. These actually have the days of the week, so they cover up the actual printed day. Hoping it's perfect. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. And then she also includes a little um, strip that's like solid red to go just to the right of these boxes. Okay, getting that little silly little sticker straight is like so hard. And I don't know how many more times I can move it before it starts ripping. Okay, well that's close enough. Alright, well I finished those. Now I have exactly seven of those little tiny strips left. So I could do one on each day 
and then do the weekend banner. But the weekend banner is actually going to cover this, bridge this gap here. So I think I'm just going to do it on five days. How cute is that? So cute. Okay, so I'll put these on the side of the full boxes as well. This is tedious. I'm not going to lie, guys. Like, that's why I turned the camera off and just did it off camera because I felt like this was really time consuming. I had to like put them down, lift them up, put them down, lift them up, put them down, lift them up to get them straight. Okay, so I used up the rest. I did um, one, two, three, four, five, and then I did one here, six, and then one on the other side, seven. All right, so that is it for these three sheets. I still have uh, nine of the half boxes left and this sheet with icons and stuff. So what do I want to do? Well, I do know that Monday, May 30th is Memorial Day, and I am off that day. So, I think I will do a half box, and then a day off sticker. These day off stickers are by um, Kate and Caboodle on Etsy came in a free sampler and then I think I'll go in with half boxes right here down the line I still have two half boxes I'm gonna keep those then I have these bill paid appointments and to clean and to buy so I guess I will throw those in as well lift the weekend banner up a little bit and sneak one of these behind it I don't know that I'll even use that but it's good to know I've got it just about done here um, there are a few places where I have gaps in between those two boxes so I have some like teardrops don't forget um, flags and icons so I'm gonna put a don't forget right here she does include today headers, so I will go ahead and use those as well. And then she includes these icons, so I'm going to use the dinner ones on every day. And then I have some, some flags and teardrops, so I will use those as well as the exercising um, icons. I really want to get more of the gray in here. Alright, and I just grabbed a coffee cup from the Kate and Caboodle kit and just put it right there. So, this is the finished spread. I love the way it came out. The one thing I wish I had was some actual ladybug, like, deco stickers to just scatter throughout. I still think it turned out really cute. Definitely leaning more towards no white space, but still some white space. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Head over to Sweet Sugar Prints to check out her shop on Etsy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <music>